Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Pinky, and here we are again learning about the Tarot 101. We are starting off here with, again, continuing our fool's journey with the major arcana number 16. This is the Tower, the Lord of the Host of the Mighty, Planetary Trump of Mars, Tree of Life Path 27. This is a very frowned upon card in the major arcana perhaps one of the scary ones the one that uh people tend to fear when we first begin our journey in understanding the tarot cards the best way of describing is have you ever watched the faces of a large construction project in the first phase the land is cleared by smoke Belching bulldozers, trees are ruthlessly ripped from the roots, grass and vegetation is plowed under and raked away, then cut up or burned. It is a scene of utter destruction and desolation. If you were to take a photograph of this site at the end of the face number one, you would have a picture of a complete catastrophe. However, in a year or two, the picture changes. Construction has taken place, and now there stands a magnificent building landscaped with grass and trees and flowers and perhaps a beautiful little waterfall and lake with a swan or two. This is the energy of the tower, the major arcana face number one. It is represented by the tower, and face number two is represented by the judgment. In the major arcana, the tower is not the end of the world. It just looks like it. In the end of the world, it is quite simply the manifestation of cosmic energy and its, or at its grossest form, the tower, is the planetary trump of Mars. Keep in mind, Mars is a planet of action. It could be a planet of destruction as well. And it incorporates most of the images that character, characterize traditional versions of the tower with human figures falling, uh, as you guys can see in the card. From its most older versions, however, they show the tower being struck by lightning from above, as if by some heavenly wrath below, flames belching from the mouth of the underworld. The traditional title of the tower is the house of God or destruction of the house of God. Invoked under the stars, love is the law, love under will, nor let the fools mistake love. The tower is based on the Tower of Babel, a creation of ours that was to reach the very heights of heaven for the builder's glory, not for God's, then got knocked it down, then got knocked it down and told us to quit it. I think that's how it went or something like that. After the tower fell, God came down to the rubble and made everyone speak different languages, informed tribes to sum up creation, destruction, confusion, and rebuilding. Think of the tower as I am rebuilding in the tarot card. The tower is about your life dissolving. You've built up this life, this tower piece by piece. You were sure about each placement of each stone. Then from out of nowhere, the universe reaches down, grabs your little snow globe of life that we call and shakes the hell out of it. Now what? This can be about someone hurting you so badly you forget who you are, having someone treat you so unfairly that your breath is literally taken away. It's about being deceived, robbed, violated, and deemed. It's about losing part of your identity. It can be about divorce, death, losing a home or a job, tragedies and accidents, chaos and fear, which could be the reason why many have reason to fear the tower. But in a grander scale of things, Every single stage in our life, it is something that we're meant to go through that is going to bring us ultimately to the path we should be walking on. At this point, you're thinking this is a scary ass card. It holds very heavy, chaotic energy. And though it may be true, it's also about rerouting your life. The golden crown gets knocked off a of man's creation and 
men are falling, thinking, oh shit, bad idea, do over. The base of your venture was shoddy. Scrap it so we can incorporate or begin the process of rebuilding. This card shows up in your reading. Understand and know that it carries these energies, energies outside of yourself that you cannot control or even prepare for as it is quick, sudden. I think the thing that frightens people so much about this card is the suddenness of it. When it shows up, it usually indicates you're already experiencing this energy. It's not something you can prepare for. It is unexpected change. And we as human creatures of habit could be extremely scary. It's about the universe pulling the rug out from under us. And the taller you were standing, the harder you will fall. If you're expecting a change, you can roll with it. It makes the recovery and rebuilding a lot easier. Less time is required for healing. And you haven't got as much dust in your eyes and can see more clearly. I think for the most part, the scariest part is the fact that there is a huge lack of control in this card. There are people falling, lightning and fire. You can't stop yourself from falling, can't predict where or how fire will travel, and can't see where the lightning will strike. When you give a reading with the tower, you have to be honest. You have to say to the quarant, this is what's going on. It's going to be hard but that's okay because it's going to be okay. Honesty is always better. However, difficult it is finding that path, I would prefer to start again rather than keep rebuilding and building higher on a flimsy structure that will quickly come to crumble. I would rather have a strong base and the truth than a stack of lies. I don't think though that the tower is a bad card. It is a very serious card and a card that must be respected. Sometimes in our life, we have to face up to real changes. These changes are uncertain, but I think that the thing that gets us through it is faith, faith in itself, faith in the universe. It is trying to put you where you belong, your authentic path. The tower clears the rubbish out of the way so that we can rebuild on an empty canvas. I have lived through the tower a few times in my life while it's happening. You can't see past the bricks and mortar of your life falling around you. Sudden death of a loved one, a devastating separation, a loss of a job or a friend that you thought would always be around. There were times in my life when I was certain I couldn't see the sun again. It is only now after the dust has settled that I know why the tower came into my life at that point in time. Why I took everything away, why it took everything away came so that I could be here surrounded by opportunity and love. It is going on your merry way, driving, as an example, to work, a route you have taken 15 years knowing exactly where to turn left and where to turn right. And on that one specific day, it so happens that you're taking the same route and a car out of nowhere crashes into you so fast and hard that your car is left spinning. That's the energy of the tower. However difficult trying to navigate this energy, tower card is an important pivotal moment in our lives. Not always to, to say it's negative. Um, of course, it has a lot to do with the surrounding cards that follow, but it will speak about that quick and sudden energy. I've also seen it show up for clients where their love life has become so routine and their comfort um, or they comfort in that ability, refusing to make certain changes. And then the tower card shows up and they're reading next to the lover's major arcana and the 10 of pentacles, as an example, speaking about an unexpected tower moment where they collide with a partner they're going to marry, being struck and captivated with each other, that everyone around them feels the rush or that they rush into marriage or a commitment in a different situation. I've also seen the tower show up with lovers and the eight of wands, speaking about a whirlwind, passionate, intense romance that completely transforms and changes the life of the client forever. You see, it's not always a bad situation. It is the universe stepping in, shaking the shit out of our lives for good or bad, because changes need to happen. 
And we've refused up until then to make those changes. So my lovelies, what does this card remind you of? Does it remind you of a movie, character, or someone in your everyday life or a situation and circumstance you've experienced? I can personally say I have experienced a few of these tower moments in my life, and I'm sure you have as well. With the lover's card and the eight of wands, exciting life at that point in time, it was definitely a whirlwind romance. So as you see, the tower is not always a negative thing. We are humans and humans are flawed. We are creatures of habit and that is a fact. We don't like change. We don't like to go out of our comfort, but you must understand and remember that everything in life happens for a reason and a purpose. Not always can you experience changes, abundance, opportunities, and growth if you don't step out of that comfort zone. And sometimes, though your heart and your soul desires and craves that, in your mind, the fear of stepping out or doing something that you've never done before could be terrifying. And this is where sometimes the universe steps in and gives you that push, that change removes that person from your life or brings you a new person into your life that is going to completely transform the way you view situations, the way you view your life or how your life has been up until that point. So it's not always a bad thing. Sometimes it's a blessing. And we must understand when dealing with the cards, when dealing with the tarot cards, every single card is in connection, in unison with one another the one that came before and the one that comes after. There is a collaborative type of energy that is guiding us from the very beginning of the full all the way to the world, going into a new cycle. Every single step of our lives, every experience we've ever had has had its higher purpose, whether we see it now or whether we see it five years from now. So again, my lovelies, I hope you guys have a much better understanding of the tower. I hope you're able to connect with it in a different level and to be able to fully understand the necessity of tower moments in our lives. I wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye-bye.